Okay, this is vlog 43, James chapter 4, verse 4. Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. We live in a system that is run, controlled, manipulated by a completely, totally invisible global government. And that global government is in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. If you're a Pentecostal or a charismatic or a word of faith person, this scripture will be so known to you, it'll probably just pass you over every time you hear it. But I'm going to read it out. The invisible government that is running this planet is headed up by principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. There are two types of people on this planet. There are those who are co-workers with Christ. Christ means the anointed one and his anointing. Co-workers with Christ are those who are puppets in the hands of this invisible global government. If the enemy, if this government, invisible government, can get God's people to get their eyes on people and see people as the problem, politicians, rulers, whatever natural position people have of authority, to get their eyes on the people and start protesting against the people and start resisting the people, then the enemy is sitting back laughing at us. People are not the problem. Where people are either co-workers with Christ or they're puppets in the hands of this invisible governmental system. This invisible governmental system functions in different realms in the heavens. But the word of God says, the constitution of our kingdom says, that we, the ecclesia, have been raised up with Christ and seated with him in the highest heavenly places to rule and reign with him. So we have a position. We have been given a position, a supernatural, spiritual position of dominion in and with Christ in the highest heavenly realms. So no matter what level, dimension or spheres in the heavens that this illegal, invisible governmental system is working, we have been placed above it. We have been placed above it, which means you have been placed above it. I have been placed above it. Now, Paul talks about his sphere or his uh, realm that he works in and he functions in. In my sphere, I have authority. In my sphere, I have, I have authorization to walk in that authority. Outside of my sphere, I do not have authority. So I need to know by revelation and understanding through the Holy Spirit what my sphere of authority is. Because I don't want to get involved in something I'm not meant to be involved in. So I don't pray for the world. And I don't pray against principalities and powers and evil spirits because that's not what I'm called to do. What I'm called to do is have dominion in my world. So wherever these, particular, wherever these particular illegal, invisible, governmental influences enter into my world, then I'm authorised to deal with them. Now, you are also authorised to deal with them in your world. So as a co-worker with Christ and not a puppet of the enemy, as a co-worker of Christ, you need to disconnect from everything and everyone who was not meant to be in your sphere. So you need to be at the right place, at the right time, with the right people, saying and doing the right things. In your world, you have authority, and you are called to have dominion in your world. And that dominion, which is meant to be in your world, is in your spirit. And that dominion, or that authority, that comes out of your spirit is released by your words. So as the Holy Spirit directs your words and you release your words 
and release dominion into your world, then the illegal governmental forces that are in the illegal, invisible governmental forces that are at work in your world will be put down. So let the Holy Spirit disconnect you from the seemingly Christian distractions of prayer and let him focus you like a sniper. A sniper has one bullet who takes out one target. Become a sniper for God. Let the Holy Spirit teach you how to release your words, hit your target and put it down in Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus is Lord and the Lord is a warrior.